வெரி குட் மார்னிங் பேக்ரவுண்ட் வாய்ஸ் வருது பேக்ரவுண்ட் வாய்ஸ் வருது வெரி குட் ஆஃப்டர்நூன் everyone in gandhigram uh, this webinar series was on the direction of our chancellor dr k m annamalai uh, to bring what exactly was gandhigram in the past who were all contributed who were all contributed to this great movement is what uh, the topic today when the topic was given by our chancellor dr k m anamalai it was his suggestion to bring in the speaker also so today we have sri sri k shivkumar trustee of gandhigram rural gandhigram trust ஸ்ரீதாஞ்சலி He is the eldest son and torch bearer of next generation of Gandhigram founders. Anna is the eldest son of Gandhigram team, which is the second generation. He is the torch bearer of our team, including me. Uh, Anna Shivakumar is by profession a chartered accountant. when i asked him anna how to introduce you he has instructed me not to give any introduction i am a simple person such a simple person requires no introduction anna is uh, by profession a chartered accountant he started his career in uh, tvs the uh, conglomerate tv sundramayagar and sons as a chartered accountant at later stage he joined gandhigram trust and uh, now heading the gandhigram trust with many activities he is a very well known social worker he is a member of vani that uh, society or uh, the, the, the confederation of uh, the ngos and has served gandhigram till today with conviction and passion anna is known for his passion in developing a team 
guiding a team and leading a team i welcome anna for delivering this lecture on this webinar so to you anna thank you mr unni my first thanks to dr annamale and unni for giving us an opportunity to share some thoughts and pay our shraddhanjali to the founders and key founders of members it is gratifying that gandhi gram rural institute and the present chancellor and people like unni still attach importance to the mother and gandhi gram trust is given its due place and recognition in many of the seminars dr saundaram and dr ramachandran familiarly referred as amma and mama by the by us felt and said always that the workers of the organization are gandhi gram is one of the greatest strengths and they have given respect and equal treatment to all the workers and following their footsteps we want to pay the shraddhanjali to the founders and key founder members and also to all the workers we call them whether it is their white collar or starting from a driver up to the ceo we treat them all as workers and we dedicate this to all the founders key founders and the, all the workers who have contributed to the growth of the organization gandhi gram till now because but for these dedicated people their involvement gandhi gram would not have come to this existence and shine in the arena of social work hospital and other things we can now start with uh, the first founders dr saundaram was a college student of uh, lady rington doing her medical studies and contacted dr shishila nayar and dr shishila nayar and dr saundaram used to visit seva gram frequently and got in touch with mahatma gandhi ji dr ramchandran who was studying in santiniketan also at a later date because of father andrews moved to seva gram and was working in seva gram it is mahatma gandhi who solemnized the marriage between dr saundaram and dr ramachandran at a later date mahatma gandhi instructed them to go and start village level work in a village initially dr saundaram started in adayar near when calling arms away rural medical services along with mutra community and others but gandhi ji has not approved it saying that it is within the premises of mandra city and she should work in a village she went along with them may visited many sites in coimbatore and many other places finally decided on this site of gandhi gram in 1946 the first set of shraddhanjali we have to do is those who have been presenting and selected the site dr saundaram dr ramchandran sri t s krishna of tvs family sri nmr subramanian a veteran gandhian from madurai and mattapara venkatram ayyar who was also a gandhian sri pattabiram ayyar and sri lagumayya of chinalpatti at one point of time when they are selecting the spot t s krishna objected that was a live line and it was not possible for them to grow etc but lagumayya came and offered 25 acres of its land first as the donation and gandhi gram was built on this 25 acres initially and at a later date able to acquire get free donation about 100 to 150 acres of land on 7th october 1947 gandhi gram was inaugurated by dr p j kar he was the chief minister of maharashtra dr g ramchandran dr saundaram b badanaban dr kaitan jeli kaitan ji dr lagmiya sri amari alangaram sri mari rukmani sri jagannathan sri krishna mal jagannathan papamma and many others were present on the occasion this was started in a small rented uh, not rented a house given by sri lagmiya in chinalpatti the house amma used to say is a training center is a place where three children were adopted 
and it was a operation uh, op center everything was multi activity and a single small thatched house in 1947 and then the story starts and we are reaching and we are enjoying we are seeing the present day gandhi gram which is like a big almara with all these erection shells gandhi gram has many various activities we now plan to indicate a few activities education health and other related activities i remember some of those who contributed along with aman mama in all the cases whether the whatever we are going to refer the main theme and main spring is aman mama and whatever additional people we are saying is the co-founders or those who have been responsible in helping them in supporting them in building the activities the primary school was one of the main uh, instrument of education activity started in gandhi gram amma saw that uh, many of the rural children does not have college education uh, program and she started the primary school along with that she found a dedicated persons karma konar dhanaraj bragada sinwasan kandasami and nandama andalama all these teams started the primary school it started initially for the people of nearby chinalapatti and other places they have to come and then education was started at the primary level at a later date the primary school as soon as they completed the fifth standard they have to go in for other education so they started what is known as a tambi totam higher secondary school tambi is one of the founder members of uh, tvs family who gave money for starting the school and hence tambi totam was started the tambi totam school was done by dr r shrinivasan family name known as chota shrinivasan and he was supported many, many other active many other active participants and the school was conducted and uh, achieved many results ramar uh, lalita migal and many others contributed for the growth it was during that period uh, the school won three state awards consequently first state awards and the best school best teacher award and many awards and uh, the institution uh, was utilized by the rural people who cannot afford to go at the same time the basic education was taught in tambitottam high school school these people chota sinwasan and others contributed for the growth of the tambitottam high secondary school but during the tambit as soon as the tambitottam high secondary school come amma also was having a feeling of early marriages were frequent and in most of the cases the husband either left the girl or there were widows and she saw the plight of these people and for the accommodating these people shevika ashram was started shevika ashram is meant for the widows of the uh, people and and many others who are not able to support by the gov gov uh, husbands and many other uh, people so this women has been brought into the school and they taught the basic minimum education and also skills training was more important but when, when they are leaving the school they will have a tailoring or some skill so that they can ca- have the livelihood and they can start uh, in their own head this is the philosophy of shevika ashram which was supported by devigamal kadamal and many others during the uh, tambi totam and other things uh, people start that uh, there is a need for high basic uh, education activities for the teachers so lakshmi amal mother of uh, dr soundaram sold some of her vessels uh, some of her jewels and gave the money which was used as the corpus and their lakshmi college of education was started this lakshmi college of education was manned by dr shrinivasan both shrinivasans one is chota shrinivasan and vasanji who built the institution and built the uh, education activities for the teachers these things in primary school tambi totam lakshmi college and shivika ashram in addition to the sadhanjali for the people which have been have been still there are people like lalita bigal and dr pangajam who was in charge in fact dr pangajam contributed as in tambi totam and also lakshmi college and also she started an english school for the rural village people as dr soundra vidyalaya which later came into existence 
This is the primary education which is still maintained in Gandhi Gram. And we have to go to the philosophy of Gandhi Gram Rural Institute. <laughs> As said earlier, Dr. Ramchandran was trained with Tagore. Gurudev Ji unhesitatingly proclaimed that education should give all round development of the human personality in which the physical, intellectual, ethics and spiritual growth would be harmonized into one integrated process. Dr. Ramchandran had this vision because when Gurudev Ji, when he left to Gurudev Ji, the only, the only blessings Gurudev Ji gave to Dr. Ramchandran was be a Vishwa Bharatian at early point of time. So he brought this philosophy as Vishwa Bharati and then developed the education is down from three main sources constituting the catchment areas of learning, natural environment, social environment and process of productive work. Each one of the sources being equally given importance. So Dr. Ramachandran dreamt a rural institute. Fortunately for him, Srimali committee gave a report that 11 schools have been selected in all over India to form what is known as the Rural Institute. Out of the Rebel Rural Institute, Gandhiram should be proud. The only one existing institution now, as per the program of Srimali and per, as per the vision of uh, Gandhiji, Tagore and Mama and Dhamma, that, that only ex existing institution. Dr. Ramchandran dreamt many aspects in building the Rural Institute, which was implemented by his Lieutenant V. Krishnamurti, who worked along with Mama and both the twins, created the organization structurally, basically, and they have taken to care. Even the physical construction of the buildings will be is uh, like Vishwabharati with the thatched shed and with green areas. We we can used to spend many of his time in making the area greenery and making the structures according to the wishes of Mama, and that was implemented. And that institute has to be bifurcated from Gandhi Gram main because of the uh, UGC and other regulations and became a separate temple of education with the vision of Mama and Dhamma as a Gandhi Gram Rural Institute. At this point of time, we have to remember in the earlier Gandhi Gram Rural Institute, people who have toiled like Sri V. Krishnamurti, Sri v, v. Rangarajan and M. G. Gopalakrishnan. Rangarajan was a Tamil Pandit and M. G. Gopalakrishnan was in English. Both of them, uh, Dr. Ramchandran gave the theme of Gandhi Gram song. And it is Rangarajan who wrote the Gandhi Gram song. And the M. G. Gopalakrishnan developed this and today the Gandhi Gram song is being played. The third person who has been in the languages is Dr. S. N. Mishra, who is known as the Panditji. Panditji came from Bihar and even during the years when there was anti-Hindi agitation, he was the person who taught Hindi and at the same time propagated, made people to write Pratmik and uh, other education institutions. Sorry, Uni, be brave, your own father, I know him. And then uh, Dr. Rudravaryar was there who was doing the education in Malayalam. S.B. Mandagri uh, was one of them. Dr. R.S. and Dr. S.S., familiarly known as Ding. Dr. R.S. was the research fellow who has done the usual uh, research activities. And then Subramaniam and PLK has done enormous efforts in public administration and other things. Dr. Kartikeyan, who was no more, is also done in the chemical and other analysis. PKK, PK Kodandapani was the rural development man who built the rural areas, who taken the people to the rural areas, placed them in the rural areas, and then made them to realize what rural areas are there. At this point of time, we have to remember even the living residents in Gandhigram, Edfield Rural Institute, like Dr. Ramamurti, who was leading the physics, Dr. Kamalamma, <coughs> who was doing the home science, and Dr. P. S. Nagarajan, who was taking the extension work and warden. There are many other illustrious persons. I may be, since of want of time, I am not able to refer to them. But all this team of members who have contributed to Gandhi Gram Rural Institute 
and their toil and their efforts and their strengthening and the system they have been given has given a brand to gandhi gram rural institute and gandhi gram rural institute today was their uh, brand image and the name to all these persons starting from mama amma vk and other team of persons like rangarajan gobalakrishnan pandit ji rs ss kartian plk and many others these people worked without any remuner uh, uh, little remuneration which have been given and strengthened and created the organization created the discipline among the students if you are going to contact any one of the old gandhi gram rural institute student still everyone remember starting from their morning uh, prayers starting from their vegetable cutting because most of the functions have been done by them they used to cut the uh, vegetables they used to clean the vessels they used to do that they used to maintain the clean there was no uh, cleaners for the campus they have maintained the campus clean and they have, in addition to all these things they have also been doing the wonderful work of education and they dedicated gandhi gram rural institute during the time when gandhi gram was managing still remembers by all the people that is the foundation for the present day rural institute normally foundation never appear before and only we see the building this is where our education activities came amma equally started with health institutions health is one of the second consideration was amma was doing it amma started the aware medical services as we said that in adiyar initially along with dr mutulakshmi reddy dr kamath and many others but gandhi ji never approved a hospital near adiyar in a city and then he said that it should be started in a village and kasturi bhav hospital was started in gandhi gram in the initial years amma herself used to sit in the op and then conducted the op operations and other things she was herself a doctor then she had many doctors like dr subalakshmi dr kanaka dr kartikeyan and one more additional doctor dr konik who came from germany and helped and supported amma in all this activity this team has been maintaining the hospital for years together and this was transferred to a living giant dr kausalya devi who is still living with us and then she built the organization and developed the organization and created the structure which we are able to deal with amma was the sole lighthouse and dr kausalya followed the lighthouse and lighted and built the organization and the today's organization owes their existence to both kausalya dr amma and many others dr indru dr jayaraman and plenty of nursing superintendents nursing people because amma always used to say the nursing smile always give the treatment for the people and all the people in nurses and many other activities and the sardanjali is only for those people who have contributed and for the growth of the organization and but for them hospital will not be existing as it is today in addition to the hospital dr saundaram planned for extension activities in health a pilot health project was started during the year and dr ramakrishnan was chosen as the head of the pilot health project four foundation initially gave the funds the purpose of the pilot health project is to create a model hospital model maternity center so that it can be followed and also the cafeteria approach for the family planning during the years the pilot health project was successful and four foundation themselves came into the support and then created supported and gandhi gram created one more department institute of rural health was created with the help of dr k v ranganathan dr isaac joseph dr p a k a prasharati these three people initially contacted amma was the chairman and this team were able to do good research on family planning and leadership models during those years the family planning has to be propagated and leadership has to be done they have developed one leadership model and the author experience 
which these people K. V. Ranganathan, K. A. Pisharadi, and many others like Govinda Chari, Lakshmi, Shetu, K. V. Srinivasan, Santanam, all these people created the author experience. The author experience went to the World Bank and Gandhi Gram uh, Institute of Rural Health at that particular point of time trained a batch of Indonesian people in family planning first time in India from the, with the help of the World Bank. And we remember those people who have contributed for rural health and other things. At the instance of uh, Ford Foundation, we have to create another institution which was later date known as the Gandhi Gram Institute of Rural Health Family Planning uh, Trust. But the soul was the Gandhian spirit and girl, Amma. She created the core. She created the corpus money. At the time, she created, argued with four foundation and got money and created the corpus fund, which is now being exhausted, uh, enjoyed by the institute. And the corpus fund during her period is replowed and then she never had the beginning of deficit and she created that organization which is a living memory in health under the name of Krasandaram. We now go to the services. Amma used to start, uh, never used the word what is family we are calling as orphan. She says she felt, she experienced that there was no orphans. Everybody is the God creation and every one of us has a father or mother. And in all those cases where she felt that I am the mother for all these institutions. If anybody calls them as orphan, she'll be furious about them. She says, I am the mother. When I am there, why do you call that children as orphan? Two creations were made. One is Saubhagi Illam in here and another is in Shiva Salem. Saubhagi Illam is a model school, model uh, uh, institution where the children have been taken care by the mothers and others. The capacity is that the Sarlama, one Sarlama was there. She used to be a real mother and then she used to take care of all the children, take care of the children, take care of the dresses, take care of them. And Amma used to visit whenever she comes to Gandhi Gram. The first visit will go to the children's home, see the children, play with them and then only come to the other activities of Gandhi Gram. And uh, this created, uh, this uh, helped the, his father saying the TV Sundar Mingar, you are doing here, why can't you do one near my uh, internal village district? That was why she started another institution in Suicide for the children, what is familiarly known as the orphanage. They are also taken, the children have been taken, ashram has been built, that institutions were also there. We have to recognize Sarlama and Tayama in Saubhagi Illam here. And in the case of Shiva Salem, Nalla Shivam Pillai and Arnachalam Pillai, Annamalai Pillai, two people who gave the land for the Shiva Salem unit. And C.A.K. Ratna Sabhavadi and K. Nilagandayar and Parani Amar built that institution. When we are working in Shiva Salem, in the Edwinade, there was another organization, Santi School for Different Them. One Samuel was conducting the program as a separate unit. But Samuel was not able to maintain that and he became bold. At that particular point of time, Samuel said that I will surrender the institution to Gandhi Gram. And that's how Santi School of Death and Dame came into existence and met it with Gandhi Gram. And we are still running that organization for the physically challenged persons. We have to recognize in the case of Saubhagi Illam and Shiva Salem, the living giants, K.S. Neela, who followed the footsteps of Sarlama and keeping the children, and also Sri Rangam, who is doing enormous work in Shiva Salem along with others. And Payani Ammar, who was not the well, were able to be a good resource mobilizer. And we have to recognize for her, she created the organization, collected so much of money, and made that organization a stabilized, stabilized organization and we are not able to face the consequences because she has created enough assets and liable assets and also fixed deposit. We are thankful for all those people who have contributed and we come back to the Gandhi Gram general activities. 
Gandhigram general activities and rural development activities are always mixed. Dr. Smith, there was one Dr. Smith who was representing Action for World Solidarity, came from Germany and distributed money to the elderly people and education activity. Dr. Smith, along with Sri V. Krishnamurti, created what is known as a Nanbarburam, a colony for the uh, origins of a village in near Satyapati. About 20 construction has been made. Houses have been given to them and employment opportunity were provided to them. This is the first positive experiment of rural development of Gandhi Gram Trust. And still the Nanbarburam gives recognition to the Gandhi Gram. This was followed by Sri M. R. Rajagopalan in building buildings in through Kapat and other schemes. There have been disasters in uh, Kodanari disaster and many disasters in which Gandhi Gram and Saundaram and Ramchandran went and helped all those people. Dr. Saundaram's contribution in Kodana disaster is still recognized as an institution of Vidyatra. And also in the case uh, Mudugulatur, uh, when there was a problem between two sets of people, in, in uh, Amma and Krishnamal went there and then only two people were permitted by the government to go to that village. And these people made the peace efforts and then able to do them. This was supported by Sri Pannamal, who was also a Harijan. So the education activities of Gandhi Gram was uh, initially done by them because the education activities have been done by the two education experts. For example, Dr. Ramchandran was himself a minister of education in Kerala. And he was also a um, education advisor to Sri Radhagopalacharya when during the Madras province. And Dr. Saundaram, being a deputy minister of education, contributed for the growth of the education activities of whole India. And during her period alone, she created what is known as the women's education, a separate self for women's education, a women's wing in the education department. These contributions and these things made them educationists and gave support to Gandhi Gram in education, health, and other related activities. <coughs> Gandhiji took up the Khadi movement and built it by step by step. Khadi was the first item in the constructive revolution under Gandhi. He believed that Gandhian constructive program was the only testament of hope of our village masses and they have never once gone back to the earlier past of the despair. The memory and experience of the constructive program never died out of memory, but implemented with Gandhian philosophy. These steps taken by them led to reaching forward consequences and creating two institutions uh, in Gandhi Gram. One is the Akadian Village Industries Trust and another is Lakshmi Seva Sangha. Amma and Mama have created these two income generating activities for two main purposes. One purpose is the stability of the organization of Gandhi Gram Trust. The income generating activities, the surpluses of this institution will be utilized for the activities of children's home and other things. At the same time, give employment potential to the rural people, especially for the rural women. They were able to support. In the case of Khadi Trust, GR Mama was able to get the support from one Elayalwar. Elayalwar and D. Ramchandran were in the prison during the Salt Satyagraha period. And Eliyarwar is the person who has a dedicated, simple man who built the Khadi. He laid the foundation of the Khadi. He, was, he sacrificed his life and went to the designs and other things and then created the Gandhi Gram Khadi Trust. So also, one Kondal Rao was there, who was in Adayar. And he built the institution in Lakshmi Seva Sangam. Amma thought that many of the herbals from the Sirmalai has been sold outside and they have been exploited. And she wanted the, to have the tradition of building the things. So the Lakshmi Seva Sangam was started. And Amma gave the initial funding from her own purses for selling her 
jewels. And we, Krishnamurti, have negotiated with foreign donors and purchased missionary for the from world for, world for bread for the world and other things. And missionaries have been purchased. These two institutions, Gandhi Gram Kadi Trust and also the Lakshmi Seva Sangam, were income generating projects, as said earlier, and able to income. Amma and Mama created the income generating projects with the main two objectives of providing employment opportunity for the rural people, especially women, and also earn surplus to support the activities of Gandhi Gram, including maintenance of Saubhagi Illam and other related work. Amma is meticulous in earning surplus, and during her period, there were occasions when institutions slipped down to rent, but she has taken the efforts and converted rent into positive surplus, and she never liked the word loss in the income generating project which was firm to earn the support of the activity. This was followed meticulously by the trio Sri V. Badhanaban, Sri V. Krishnamurti, and Sri M. R. Rajagopala. Even for one or two years of the institution, when it went red, they followed the footsteps of Amma and the terms of cooperation and positiveness have been achieved, which was utilized for the activities of the trust. During that time, Amma used to design the saris herself. And the saris she used to take in her own car, the finished product, and then sold in the market. She was the designer, she was the marketing speciality, and GR used to give his input to the people because he used to weave and they used to construct and then institutions were built by their blood and skin and the, with the main objective and they never even during the period when there have been certain losses they, they and their followers worked hard and made the institution profitable within the short period. Amma used to say I am coming from a from industrial house. My father is an industrialist. My, sir, my brothers are industrialists. My blood is in no activity should be for loss. I will use the skill. And when they are making the private people perfect, the Gandhian trusteeship should be proved as one of the best example. And because of the Gandhian trusteeship, the institutions became public and she toiled to make them surplus. And those surpluses have been utilized for the welfare of the Sauba Gillam and other activities. <coughs> the efforts and dedicated which they worked and made the income generating project, the real income provide gave a suitable place in the history. And uh, we are doing Sardanjali. Dr. G. Ramachandran became the chairman of Kadi Village Industries Commission. His achievement in the Kadi in Gandhi Gram gave him the place. Badmanabhan became the secretary of the Kadi institutions. These people have worked there and many other activities. There are other cultural and other activities in Gandhi Gram also. Because Gandhi, uh, Mama was instructed by Tagore to form, to follow the uh, Vishwabharati pattern, he used to maintain the culture of Vishwabharati. He brought many people from Vishwabharati and others and created the cultural affinity of Gandhi Gram. There was uh, Sadagopan, a singer, Datta, Shamala Balakrishnan, Ramakrishnan, Ramanujam, Sangaram Pillai, Kalipati Srinivasan, F. P. Srinivasan, many others who created the institutions, the cultural activities. In any organization, uh, Tagore's Ek Tachalo Ek will be the one of the presentation and presentation will be done. The culture of Indian culture was told to them. Many of the classes in Gandhi Gram Rural Institute conducted under the trees. And then only Mama used to say, he used to conduct the staff meeting under the trees. This is what my master Tagore used to tell me. Let there be an environment. Let us work in the environment and then do it other things. And there are many other activities. I have not referred the present activities because this is more or less related to the uh, earlier years, earlier people and the earlier occasions. We once again feel that we have to do the Shraddhanjali for the Mama and Amma initially for them. 
but for their efforts, but for their life. Their life itself is an open book. They have contributed for the growth. Amma used to say that whenever some money she wants, she used to take the sari and then say that I am going to get Madi Pichai. And then she used to literally say and built that institution as one of the best resources, resource mobilization of the country. The President Gandhi Gram, who was <coughs> all her efforts, the resource mobilization and techniques of Mama, who used to be only administering, channelizing, and then contacting the youngsters. And it is the couple who brought many people to Gandhi Gram, starting from Neruji came to the institution twice, Kamaraj came, Subramanian came, Rajendra Prasad came, no other Dr. Radha Krishnan came. During those years, any political party, political prime ministers or others, governors and many others used to visit Gandhi Gram and encourage the Gandhi Gram activities. CR used to come together and even in those cases, respect has been given to these people. And Nehruji used to say, whenever I am coming to Gandhi Gram, I am recharging myself in the rural development program so that when I go to the Delhi as the Prime Minister, this charging gives me enough sufficient people to think about rural development and other things. Two exemplary exam people have been turning it. So the Sardhanjali is for Dr. Soundaram and Ramachandran and the key founder members like B. Krishnamurti, B. Badmanabhan, Sri M. R. Rajagopalan, they stood along with Amma and Mama, Chota Srinivasan, Sri Adar Srinivasan, these people, Rangarajan, many others stood um, along with Amma and Mama and they have created Elayalwar and many other organizations. Living Lion, giants like Kausalya, Pangajam and others have also contributed for this growth of the organization. So as uh, we are seeing Abdul Kalam near Unni, Abdul Kalam used to say, whenever he, he say, so whomsoever the founders, key founders, workers, uh, beneficiaries, and then supporters, whomsoever contributed for the growth of the organization, for this organization to make it this level, we bow down and pay our salute and respect and regard for them. Thank you for giving that opportunity. Thank you, Anna. The school which I have studied, Tambi Totam, it was a reminiscences rather. Uh, I really, uh, when our chancellor proposed, Dr. K. Manamwe, he proposed this as a topic and uh, wanted uh, Anna to speak on this, uh, I could visualize what kind of impact it can uh, bring in to people, those who are involved, and for the people, those who are watching from outside at a later stage, those who have joined this moment and even today, every single individual in Gandhigram is contributing to their level best to bring this uh, as a great institution. And uh, Gandhigram Trust is one of the trusts which is managing everything uh, which was visualized on the day one till now in letter and spirit. It's really amazing to watch 70, 75 years of existence of a great institution uh, which has come across a uh, lot of uh, generations which has come across and many first time learners who have come and studied in Gandhigram Rural Institute, they have become uh, secretary, they have become government officials and most of the people, those who have studied are still there emotionally attached with uh, Gandhigram Rural Institute and Gandhigram Trust. I, uh, I, you, Anna, you have not left me uh, to uh, to even take one name. Uh, you have taken almost everyone's name. I have kept it in writing. I will just show. Uh, Anna, the, 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 it is something like this. I have written names, and you, uh, you have covered everybody. You have covered everybody literally. One if thing. At all, I have, I have not covered anybody. Let them excuse me because I have not covered the existing people who are contributing now. Only those who have been contributing 20, 15 years and above. And we have to bow down to the people who are now contributing, the board of directors and others, who strengthen the activities, continue the activities, continue the philosophy of Amma and Mama, and have the torch bearers of this organization. 
at a later date when something comes, we will recognize them in due courses. It was really wonderful experience for us. It is like a, um, I'm sure it will become a library material, uh, library reference for each and everybody. Every single individual should see this uh, webinar to understand what exactly was Gandhigram, how it was conceived and how it has been developed to this level. And whatever uh, success today uh, we have, it is real salute to the people, those who have contributed. Uh, I personally remember uh, Amma and Mama instructed every single member uh, to participate in all the activities. Like uh, uh, myself and my sister, we, like others, like other uh, second generation people, we used to go and stay in uh, the, the orphanage uh, uh, there for two days in Saturdays and Sundays, live with them, eat what they eat and live uh, like a family. Uh, similarly, uh, the contribution of uh, Sevikasram is is unbelievable uh, 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 gesture to a to a section of people, uh, which which uh, today people should come and visit Gandhigram. I personally invite all these people, those all the people, those who have come uh, in this webinar and those who are uh, going to see this webinar in the future when it is in uh, available in the YouTube. Uh, I request everyone to come and uh, visit Gandhigram. Anna, two things I would like to touch on, uh, because this is uh, something uh, which is uh, coming from core of heart. When uh, Mahatma Gandhi was assassinated, uh, his uh, 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 his remains, that uh, uh, Asti, was sent to almost uh, important all important places where Mahatma Gandhi's soul is there. Uh, Anna, can you just explain how Asti was sent to Gandhigram and where it is kept and what are all the things, tributes we are giving? We received Asti from uh, Mahatma Gandhi as home promotion that was kept in a small pot. At the later date, we planted a plant and then it is still kept near about it and then in some cases, the Friday previous used to conduct it there. In normally, the previous conducted only in what is known as a Saundaram Pamma's Pandal here. We may remember that there was a thatched shed, which was the prayer hall where Nehruji, Murarji, all people visited that thatched shed and convocation address was done as pure as in the Tagorean style in this thatched shed alone. Near about that place, we have kept the Mahatma Gandhi's urn. And then at a later date, it was shifted and then we are keeping it as a monument. And then we also had Gan Abdul Kafar Khan, who visited and who created another light, what is known as a light lamp, which is still there. And also Martin Luther King and Mrs. Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King, Mama brought Martin Luther King here. And Martin Luther King used to say, that if at all I know about Gandhi, I learned it only in Gandhi Gram in practical ways where Gandhi Ji lived there. That was really uh, one of the uh, important gestures that uh, Mahatma Gandhi Ji's Asti was brought to Gandhi Gram, sent to Gandhi Gram, and it is still there. Uh, I, uh, I know people, those who are entering, <laughs> generally go and uh, touch there. Uh, their their, their, their Sradanjali is given there. And uh, still, I feel that uh, the great soul's uh, contribution uh, has brought Mahatma Gandhi himself there and he is living with us. Uh, one of the uh, one of the, the key thing which was uh, there after a, after a long time, our uh, present registrar, uh, Dr. VPR Sivakumar has brought a uh, small um, uh, a, 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 a theme. Uh, Anna has seen that, and uh, yes, uh, yes. you have you yes. have told you have told that uh, the kind of uh, energy and the passion put in was immense. That uh, Gandhiji's soul is coming to Gandhigram, and he, uh, the soul is discussing um, things with uh, someone who is coming nearby, and that, that the entire picture was given. I I I now feel that the entire uh, gesture was here also in this webinar. You have shown right from beginning. Uh, uh, how it has been made and uh, what are all the things which has happened and what are all the activities which is there. Uh, Gandhigram as an institution. Now I have uh, one more thing to uh, ask Anna. Uh, 
amma as an individual had contributed everything of her uh, property uh, her jewelries and everything to gandhigram to build up gandhigram somewhere somehow and uh, that was there but uh, even today uh, tvs group is contributing to gandhigram can you anna please explain and elaborate what is the role of tvs today and, and in the past in the past also when uh, in gandhigram rural institute when gandhigram rural institute was formed initially ts rajam the member of the tvs board was the chairman for gandhigram rural institute and tvs gave the deficits of gandhigram rural institute initially during the period when it was a gandhigram rural institute because the government of india gave only 75% 25% of the money has to be sorted that 25% of the money most of this money came only from the tvs group which was managed which was given and that that one that only ts rajam became the chairman and controlled the gandhigram rural institute till it became the uh, university when it was under as an educational wing of gandhigram gandhigram tvs gave the deficit portion most of the deficit portion came from kubile because amma used to be a resources mobilizer herself because at one point of time even the family members of amma used to avoid her because the moment they go and meet her first question is about their own health the second question is i have a deficit in this institution or this institution whether you can give me money or whether this can be such a uh, resource mobilizer whomsoever she meets first time first two questions will be about the family their family and others but the third opening will be either for funding children's home or funding hospital or funding for gandhigram activities in during the corona period used to say that even she brought back all the sarees of the all the tvs members family and distributed here they used to say we have lost everything and the everything has been given and tvs has done it amend for example krishna who is the person who has identified the place and some of the lands have been purchased only through ts krishna and there was a first borewell even still it is working yes. in gandhigram rural institute which is supplying to gandhigram rural institute that is given by ts krishna he stayed there for a day and then they did it and then that particular water source is still supplying to gandhigram rural institute there was a big light where shanti sana used to assemble those particular lights have been given they have been contributing and invisible contribution but tvs is more than the visible contribution because they never wanted that it should come to the surface and they have been elaborately contributing helping the contribution and when whenever something happens it will be only like that for example during one of the periods children's home was not having a rice immediately amma said i do not my children do not have the rice T.S. Krishna immediately, um, there was a one person in Vajipati who was running a hotel. And then he immediately phoned, immediately three, four bags of rice came and he used to supply. And uh, T.S. Krishna and that particular person who is a Vajipati owner were relationship. Immediately the people came and then whenever deficit came, T.S. Krishna gave for the hospital for a ward. pediatric ward many other funding has been done in tvs and other things their contribution is more csr activities and other rr shri r ramchandra used to help amma like anything because whenever she used to be there at a later period she go will go to rr and rr is a person ramchandra is a person who doesn't want his left hand know what is right hand right hand so he used to give and he never advertised or never said even during the period i am giving the money don't tell i have given you the money i remember uh, uh, anna you have touched um, my father's name also i remember uh, sometime um, uh, my mother used to uh, tell me or uh, i have seen my father going to uh, delhi or some other places for bringing uh, money for giving salary at that time he was drawing a salary of uh, i hope 3 rupees 40 paise or something like that 
mama used to tell that uh, panditji you go and collect money and he used to tell people that yes I will let him come first i will get money my salary then i'll give it to you i uh, i just uh, uh, i i have one great gesture of uh, mama uh, whenever uh, there were times when gandhigram was not paid salary for 3 months 2 months or 5 months or something like that due to Uh, paucity of funds till these kind of funds come in like tata's contributed modi's contributed and uh, birla's contributed uh, till then mama used to uh, give a slip to the employee whoever comes in uh, and says that um, mama i don't have money uh, my family is uh, now struggling so he used to write 5 kg rice 2 kg there is a cooperative store which was there uh, which uh, which used to yes. give this slips take the slips and give it to the employees and i can you tell something like that those days because during those period you are right the ministry used to give the grant to once in six months and the, the salary salon the salary salon say most of them were working and then they are not able to get the money in those cases as you are rightly pointed out what they used to say is they used to give a slip for example my father used to give a slip to kadi bhavan to kadi bhavan you get dal and other things cooperative societies and then we ourselves had the oil unit gandhi ram village industries unit village industries unit used to give oil and then soaps most of the expenses have been given by them but at a later date when it came to the question why it may not be possible for them education activities etc then my father used to go to the help of smith and we used to uh, she along with them used to pay scholarship to the children both amma and mama never paid uh, market salary to any, any one of the people see they are, they are very good on it even today they never said that but at the same time on humanitarian consideration both of them took their families into confidence and given compensated amma used to go to the tvs charities and get some scholarship mama used to go to somewhere and then get the scholarship and given to them but at the same time when it comes to the question of payment of salaries 275 rupees or 320 rupees the the market rate at that particular point of time in the lecturer will be 1200 but gandhi ram salary for ramamurthy kamalamma or vk or anybody the salary will be 475 rupees and that too once in three months they have struggled and there there will not be any people who have been working for example if there are no lecturers immediately some of them will be taking alternative uh, people for example uh, if uh, nagarajan used to take physics classes there used to be one subraj you may remember subraj was a person what he multi purpose activities he is an example he used to build the, for the morning prayer conduct the morning prayer go there mark the attendance and then uh, go to the, the teachers and give them chalk pieces and then arrange for the lunch and in the evening he is the physical education instructor go to the people and then physical in the night he used to take the philosophy and go along with my father to project village in the villages about health and other activities this is the pattern of people subraj is one example there were many subrajes rs used to take the classes in this in the thing whenever some classes are there the classes are being adjusted in such a way that whenever the classes are vacant some other person will be taking to the classes the library was such that the library books have been distributed the librarians used to take the classes and then the village development program was essential each student go have to go to the village and stay village in villages especially that is the construction in uh, gandhi gram institute of rural health when kv rangnathan and kap were there what is known as the cft program community fellowship program the students along with them went and stay every saturday in a village every weekend and they had to give the report and then that is the physical education now they thought about the zero uh, toilets zero toilets was implemented in padipatti block amma gave them amma gave some money and four foundation gave the money for the 
construction of toilet and all the villages nearby wadipatti at one point of time where zero was there as a toilet and toilet construction was there so also the zero population program zero population program cafeteria approach is only considered in india it is amma who sold the idea and developed the idea written the concept of papers and then sold it to the world bank as author experience author experience is the most successful experience as far as family planning is concerned in the world and that is one of the example she used to get money projects money and in the projects money she provided for the institution and she also provided for the project directors and all the project directors will be our own staff she used to uh, adjust the project salaries uh, per salary to the institute fund and created the sources she never paid more than a uh, uh, double salary for any one of the staff but she exacted double work that she uh, that is their talent that is their motivation they are not exacted seeing amma and mama working they used to follow the same way one still remembers the mama's lectures in annapurna pandaran every friday or every alternative day where the speech itself starting from the children's home up to the principal everybody will be present there there will be a topic and the language was so wonderful so excellent it was authority so eloquent so eloquent and people listen to the his voices in such a way and enjoy the speaking instead of and in addition to attending the prayer that was the spirit both amma and mama led because there were examples amma is the person who is the cost effective person one to get a signature in one check one has to explain to her what is the portion she will always say i know the difficulty of getting the money so i should take this as a spending also that is the lesson she wanted every other followers to in gandhi gram to do it two principles she has been implementing one the word deficit she never liked in her life in any project it should be a surplus project it should be a project and in the case she never liked the word loss any income generating project should be surplus and the surplus should be utilized for the activities such as the children's home my children i want my children to get it one day one one of these days when she was going there was a fried uh, appam in one of the plates of the people she took it and then went to the cook and this is the way you which which is serving my my child will you serve these things that is the care she can take in, in the care of development of the children educational development of the children cultural development of the children dress materials given to give them and put them in hospitals or others bed education or mbbs she fought for them bed education when two or three students were not able to get she fought for them and then got the money and the education activities and the rural development activities is exemplary when rajaji wanted community development program she has taken three blocks nilakote athur and other blocks and she proved that is the community development block and on this basis alone government of tamil nadu developed what is known as a bdo system block development officers block development other that experimental measure was done by saundram and ramchandra both of them were preached what they have practiced they never practiced anything without their speech and they were implemented they were caste consciousness during that period there was no corruption in gandhi gram amma used to say well, as you see i am collecting these strings using my mundani and whom so ever spends it or do corruption will get the will get that whatever she never say they they should go or something will get to the their things that she will leave it because in her own words she will never say that they will suffer or something like that they will get the benefit of that that is the spirit and the which they have done that spirit Those is still there that spirit is still there anna uh, i have yes. seen many people um, i don't want to go in depth of all these things anna now very important aspect one thing which was uh, which is gandhi gram's spirit you can say or uh, one of the brain child of uh, mama the shanti sena 
Anna, can you just touch upon this particular subject? What is it? Shanti Sana, well, uh, Mama had full faith in Shanti Sana because Mama's peace efforts, whether it is going to Moscow or China, because he has gone on many missions. He went to Moscow for one as the press mission. Uh, he met President Kennedy on peace missions. His philosophy on nonviolence is well known. He has commitment and he started Shanti Sena at one point of time. Shanti Sena was at particular point of time wanted to send it to Mudugulutu or many other areas where there were been conflict in India. He developed the Shanti Sena system. He developed the dresses and made them even during now. Shanti Sena used to go before the procession of the uh, doctorate people or degree. The same team has to go into that. They have to go to that convocation. They have to go there. And the dresses were similar to Vishwabharati. The dresses, they have, the shawl is a only a Vishwabharati model. He maintained the Tagorean spirit in most of his uh, uh, planning and other things. He kept it in mind, but he never called it a Tagorean. But at a later date, we came to know that it is a Tagorean effect, which has given him the temples and then designed it. This Shanti Sena, again, we have to remember Chaitan and Radha Krishna, and who had done enormous work in maintaining the Shanti Sena, spirit of Shanti Sena, taking the Shanti Sena people wherever conflicts arise. There was one village near uh, Gandhi Ramitsu when there was a Christian and a Hindu uh, fight. The Shanti Sena people has been taken there, worked with them, and resolved the difference. Shanti Sena has done a tremendous uh, effort, and Mahanov's philosophy of Shanti Sena is immense. His faith on Gandhian ideologies, either on cleanliness or on Shanti Sena or on non violence or on education, is uh, tremendous. And he implemented all of them during his period in the Gandhi Gram Rural Institute. Anna, one thing uh, which is coming to my mind. Uh, there is village industries court uh, in Gandhigram, which is named yes. after great uh, personality. Yes. Yes. Uh, the idea behind the village industries court and uh, the contribution of village industries. Uh, can you uh, touch upon this? Yes. Mama used to call J.C. Kumarapa a very good friend of him. He used to talk to him. In many occasions, I still remember, uh, in one of the evening speeches, he started with saying, today is the birthday. And then started whether it was Nehru or whether it was... Finally, he ended with, it is today Kumarapa's birthday. And he remembered Kumarapa. Exactly. Kumarapa's contribution for village industries. Kumarapa, at one point of time, uh, sold his idea of village industries to the planning commission. Had the, the, Vinoba also used to say, when... Uh, Nehruji said that my planning commission people were not able to do village development people. Then uh, Vinoba suggested to him, you can send your IAS people here to, I'm, uh, to Kumarapa. Kumarapa will teach what is a village industry. Because both of them, whether it is going to be Vinoba or J.C. Kumarapa, they have a bonus like a railway line. The, they have work for the village development. The village self-sufficiency is the main thing. The village should support these things. The production should be developed. Then. At a later date, we developed this village industries code and the village industries philosophy of Kumarapa as Gandhi Gram sales representative. We made products in the clusters in villages. And we sold the same ideas with the Gandhi Gram sales representative. Gave them the idea of teaching the marketing potential. And they were able to do that. The success of the story is the village industry's production is consumed in village industries itself. With the result, the transportation cost, the minimum uh, uh, intermediary cost, and other things have been convenient. At the same time, give employment opportunity for rural, exactly. the production women, and also the saleswomen. That is the philosophy, that is the theme. That is the theme in which we are working for the soup. That is the theme which we are working for the many of the Ayurvedic products, where we say, that we are not going to compete with the Hindustan leaders. But at the same time, we are giving employment potential for the rural women. And the rural women is going to sell the soap to the another rural women. And the village economy is maintained. 
anna it was a journey i can say uh, from 1947 you have taken us 1946 rather you have taken us through uh, this one hour many many things which were untold many names which were uh, uh, they are unsung heroes of this great movement were touched upon and uh, it was really a, a very 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 uh, i i have i am i am spellbound i have no words to say this shraddhanjali would be a document in the future also in the days to come i remember uh, i am coming again uh, when the with the emotion our uh, chancellor said this particular thing that bring these untold unsung heroes uh, in this webinar and throw some light on uh, those contributors who have done for this institution our great movement it was really uh, uh, commendable uh, the memory what you have uh, brought in each and every single individual as i have, i told that i was writing names and you have touched upon every one anna thank you so much anna you have you have taken your own uh, time a very precious time amongst your uh, busiest schedule to be a part of our webinar uh, deliver some great Uh, uh, reminiscences of gandhi gram rural institute gandhi gram trust and the shraddhanjali was really really worth i have no words to further add anna thank you anna thank you very much for uh, thank you. blessing us jai hind only only again a shraddhanjali to all the founders key founders and unsung and hal hero heroes who have contributed for the growth and those people whom i have left who have been contributing for the growth of the organization and maintaining the spirit of dr saundaram and dr ramchandran dr saundaram and dr ramchandran and the host of others have given their life that field up and created this monumental example this temple of education the temple of service it should be it is our own duty to maintain the spirit of dr saundaram and dr ramchandran and host of others and we still remember salute all those people who have contributed and all those people who have been contributing for the growth but for them gandhigram would not be existing at this point of time we bow down we salute them we honor them we respect them and our pranams and prayers to them let them continue their efforts and then to strengthen this gandhigram to make this institution a worldwide organization which should be remembered in the name of mahatma gandhi and the founders like dr saundaram and dr ramchand thank you unni for your response and convey our regards to annamalai and all the team members of gandhigram rural institute who have given us remembered us and given us this opportunity perhaps lastly one request for your annamalai and the other people they remember gandhigram in this occasion and given that opportunity but amas and mama spirit will be will bless them only if they give gandhi gram a suitable representation in the governance pattern and structure of gandhi gram institute i know dr anamlai dr subraj and dr shivakumar and you are struggling but at the same time the shraddhanjali and spirit will be done and then because mama and amma created the linkage between the organization those those linkages will be met today you and i are there we we know the linkages 25 years or 50 years nobody knows what is going to be the linkage think about those time unless we create the institutional linkage unless we work towards the institutional linkage, unless we have the structures and governance better we will not be doing a good shraddhanjali to the founders let us work together let us reentry and then let all the institutions of gandhi gram were created by amma and mama should continue the spirit follow the spirit follow their examples and let them from the heaven bless all of us thank you very much thank you anna we are uh, I, i have to add this point because since you have touched this uh, thing uh, our uh, chancellor have had uh, a discussion with the honorable minister and uh, we are trying to incorporate this in the central university scheme which is coming I, up i i know i know that but i, I should also thankful to anam anamlai and also for you and all the people who are working 
who are maintaining because you people know the ethos of gandhi gram you people have been brought up in gandhi gram you know the culture of gandhi gram 25 years or 50 years of Kansas, those who are going to lead the university may not know what is the what is saundram what, what is ramchandra what is the relationship between saundram ramchandra and gandhi gram that is where our worries are when we are going to hand over to the next generation we are fortunate i am fortunate and all of us are fortunate that we have inherited a good spirit a good institution with enormous support with enormous finances when we are handing over to the next generation it is our essential need that we should hand over to the others the same spirit and same thing so that the continuation the spirit of the people should continue forever thank you na as a eldest eldest son of second generation uh, you are leading us you are guiding us in many things uh, i am really thankful to you for your guidance and your uh, the kind of uh, leadership you have this institution will will uh, go leaps and bound thank you anna jai hind thank you thank you